Vancouver is once again going to be on the global fashion stage come this September. We're going to get right into it. Our first guest, guys, is one of our favorite fashionistas, and I know she's one of yours as well. Mona Mansur! From a reality show to a return to the runway. Huang is most known for her time as a contestant on the inaugural season of Project Runway Canada. You look beautiful in your Carly Wong outfit. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. I am here with the beautiful Canadian supermodel Jessica Stamp. Vancouver Heights deserve to shop luxury fashion brands. Just look around the room, you can see the fashion. Only the best designers in the world attract a fashionable crowd like this in celebration. The West Coast is one of the most beautiful places on the planet, and I'm on the hunt to make sure that the people here look just as good as where they live. I'm Mana Mansour, and I'm a lifestyle journalist searching for the most cutting edge fashion and beauty hotspots, deals, and tips, all in our own backyard. I'll do the shopping so you don't have to. This is West Coast Style. Gentlemen, listen up. Looking chic isn't just reserved for the ladies. I'm giving you the tips on how to take your look from casual drab to GQ. Gordon, I absolutely love all the bow ties and the fun British elements you guys have brought this in. This is so sweet, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It kind of looks like you if you lived in the 1800s, okay, right? Okay, fine. It was me. How do you know? It is me. I have to say, you look exceptional today in that dress. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. Well, this is the holidays. This is the time to shine and really look our best because we have so many different occasions. Absolutely. And this is the time to really amp it up. Yeah. Usually we see a leopard in the traditional tan and brown versions, yeah. right. but I wanted to show our audience a little bit something different with the snow leopard. Isn't so this, this is just a gorgeous <laughs> sweater. Okay, so if you're on a budget, if you're watching your money and yes. you want to go shopping, what kind of rules should you follow? I have three tried and true rules that always seems to work. First off, know your body. This is also important for if you are shopping high end too. Um, trends are great and we'd love to incorporate them, but really know what looks good on your body. Right. Second of all, visit some of your favorite high end department stores, get out the smartphone and and take pictures and take <laughs> mental notes of what the designers are doing. That way, when you go to affordable fashion stores, you know what to look for in material and color matching. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. And then last but not least, probably my favorite, incorporate thrift. It's a great way to find some treasures that are extremely affordable. Well, you've done that yourself right now. Yes. That top is from a thrift shop, isn't it? My top and my belt. And your belt. So both are from thrift stores. And you look amazing. Thank yeah, you so yeah, much. All right. <laughs> With Monique Lillier, she really sets the bar in bridal. Yeah. She's kind of the one who really spearheaded having a separate corset. So say you love this skirt, yeah. but you don't really love, say, this one. This is not your taste. You want something a little bit more blinged out. Yeah. She has all these different corsets to mix and mix match. And match. Yeah. This is our girl about town. I'm calling her the Bohemian Glam look. This girl is edgy. She's cool. She loves hitting the town with her girlfriend. It looks like the supermodel's day off. You know, exactly. When she's just <laughs> Kate Moss would wear something but like this. But you know what? You are a big fan of the accessories. I am. Can you tell? Yeah. <laughs> well, I really I really believe that accessories can elevate any outfit. It can transform even the most basic pieces, like a $5 t-shirt to the most crisp suit for work. And the aviator glasses, they aviator. are hot. If you have more pronounced features, however, I would go with something big and bold, like this one. Try this I one can on you. Put this one on right wow, here. Wow, that's kind of 70s kind of a, <laughs> you're rocking the 70s right yes, now. Yes, very yeah. much 70s. The 70s is coming back in fashion and accessories. That's great for you. Some people talk about you like they know all about you. Our Mana Mansour is on the grounds this morning and joins us now with the latest Mana. How are things looking down there? Well, Scott, the fair gates just opened at 11 a.m., so people are trickling in, trying to get in line for some of those rides. It is the 103rd anniversary for the Peony this year, and although they have some of the returning favorites like Dal Richards Orchestra and the Peking Acrobats and also the Super Dogs, they've added a roster of some new exhibitions and shows for people to enjoy. After mastering the basic merengue steps with Susie as my lead, I was definitely getting into the Latin fever. Now all I need is a flight booked and a dance partner in tow. Why do people smell it back and forth this way? I see it all the time in movies. It's probably okay. a little bit attributed to what they've seen in the movies, you know? Right. I mean, everyone wants to take a good cigar and like, just get a nice big smell of that. Now, I'm not very good with the eye here, so you tell me if it's good. That's good, right there. Uh. <laughs> you should want to mush up all the mint. I feel authentic using a wooden spoon. And we put two ounces of rum in ours. No Make messing around here. No messing around. <laughs> cheers. Then cheers. 
Okay, so it's time to talk red carpet fashion from last night's Oscars. Oscars is like my fashion Super Bowl. Oh, this really is, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Kate Blanchett, now, yes. she looks stunning. She always does. This gown was pretty much a work of art, really. It is an Armani Privé gown covered in Swarovski crystals wow. and beautiful beading. It was actually a tulle skirt with um, some crinoline accents on the bottom. This woman, like you said, Carrie, can do no wrong, really. And she's just one of my favorites on the red carpet, for sure. Let's go to your list of misses. <sighs> it was very, very hard to choose this miss because I'm going to be honest, Amr, there was a lot of misses last night. Mm. But first, I'm going to start with Lena Dunham. Yeah. This dress was not doing her wonders last mm. night. It fit her horribly. Uh, it's a Zach Posen. It just looked like it was very uncomfortable on her as well. Her hair looked like a big hot mess, and um, it just does, wasn't doing anything to her more full-figured shape. And lastly, Sally Hawkins in this Valentino uh, gown. I really love Sally Hawkins. I think she's really sweet but this gown wasn't being sweet on her okay. she was it almost looked like it was one size too big for her very petite frame this woman is only 38 years old and she looks like something that a woman in her 60s would wear Fashion television host Jeannie Becker has spent the last 26 years giving viewers her take on the world's most famous fashion line. How does it feel to be back in Vancouver? Oh, I love Vancouver. Oh. You know, you walk down the streets here and there's some very chic looking people. I love West Coast style. You've been involved with so many charitable organizations over the years and you had quite a lot to choose from. Why specifically Dress for Success for Edit? I thought it was really important to choose a cause that really was essentially about fashion and the way fashion can impact Power someone and so that's what Dress for Success does. It provides women with clothes to make them, you know, really put their best foot forward. Chandler Herbert from Make It Vancouver is joining me right now. What did you think of all those sexy bathing suits? I loved it. <laughs> of course, what am I gonna say? It's great to support local handmade design. Go! Danae on Blanc's dress code of wearing white from head to toe didn't start as a way to make a fashion statement, but rather out of necessity. Back in 1988, when Francois started the event, there was no text messages, no email, and no cell phones. So the only way they could find each other en route to the secret location was to wear white. But I figured if we're going to go out with a with a bang for 2015, why not wear something a little classy? Well, this is sexy. amazing. You did a fantastic job. Thank you so job. much, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. You are amazing. Well, you are such a talent. Thank you so Thank much, you so much.